Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. So, I have another canning project that I'm going to do today. Hopefully my bowl is big enough. If not, I'll have to upgrade bowls. <laughs> but I'm going to can chocolate syrup. Um, I put them in the, the baskets for my kids for Christmas. And they love it. It gets ate up really quick. You can use it for ice cream. You can use it for hot chocolate. You can use it for anything that you'd normally use um, chocolate syrup in. So, I'm going to bring you over here and show you what we're going to do to start. So the first thing I need, and you can do as many batches as you want. Some people have bigger families than mine. But, but the first thing you're going to need is six cups of sugar. plenty of room. I want to show you guys the containers that you got me. I absolutely love these. Love, 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 love them. I'm starting to put my beans and stuff in them too. So this is another one you guys got me. It's just a little bit smaller size. Love this too. Everything that I've gotten from that company has been amazing. I love it. Now we're going to do three cups of cocoa. Now the reason I'm just starting this because if you watch the other video or maybe it, this one will come out first I'm not sure but um, I have the water boiling for another canning project and this one is half, has to go in hot so I figured I'd do the other one first and then the water will already be hot and ready for the next one. All right, so we got the three cups of cocoa. Tom's like, you got a bunch of cocoa because when we went through my cabinets, we found a bunch. And I'm like, it'll get used up during Christmas time. <laughs> now, you don't have to do this, but I do. I like to whisk it together and try to get rid of a lot of those, you know, the big clumps that you get from your cocoa. You know... While I'm stirring this, I got a late start because I was watching Homestead Heart. I don't know if you guys have ever watched them, but I absolutely love them. And she was talking today about community, or lack of it, I should say. And how, you know, when you were kids, like no matter where we went in town, let me tell you, we had family on every single street. And then, you know, our other friends had family. And let me tell you what, you didn't get away with crap. <laughs> but nowadays, like she said, there's so many in the community you don't want your kids to be around. You know what I mean? And it's really, really sad. I miss those days. I really do. Which brings me to a story. <laughs> yesterday, I meant to tell it to you yesterday and I forgot. But yesterday I went to the end of my street. I think... I was taking AJ to, on the bus, and they had this, uh, you know, like, dead man hanging in a tree, whatever you call them, things, dummies, whatever you want to call them, and it got me to thinking about when we were kids. I used to hang out with these guys, they were Ralph and Raymond, Bob and Bill, they were twins, and then what was the other guy's name? Oh my gosh, I can't remember his name. But anyway... <laughs> We decided that we were going to take a pair of overhauls and we were going to fill them up with leaves. And then we were going to take our BB guns and shoot them and make holes in the, the fabric. And then we were going to paint right around it. And that was going to be our Halloween decoration in my grandma's yard and hang from the big old oak tree out front. So the kid, I can't think of his name, he went home and he grabbed a pair of overalls from his dad's garage. And... We did exactly what we said. We shot holes in it and we filled it with all of the leaves and, you know, painted the red around it, got it hung up in the tree. Well, he got in trouble. Not for taking the overalls, but for taking the brand new overalls. <laughs> His dad said, you could have taken the old ones, you know, but he didn't. He just grabbed 
whatever there was there. <laughs> so, yep, brand new overalls with holes in it, fake blood stains hanging in my grandma's oak tree. <laughs> I thought about that yesterday. You know how you think about things from your past? You just see something, and it just brings it back. And Yeah. Two of those friends actually are passed away now, and it's really sad. But the twins are still alive. I'm telling you, as bad as those boys were, I'm surprised they're still alive. <laughs> anyway. You're going to use a pinch of salt in that, and then you're going to mix that together, too. We grew up with all boys when we were up north, and I tell you, they would do girl things at night, you know, let us be waitresses and stuff like that, you know, they never played Barbies or anything like that, but we'd do boy stuff all day, and then they would, you know, they would do girl stuff at night. It was great. I can't, I can't imagine my life without those boys, honestly. All right, so now that's all nice. You see all the, the clumps are out of it? So... It takes 15 minutes to cook it, but so I'm going to wait till that's about halfway through, and then I'll be back and we'll cook it up. Alrighty. So now, what you're going to do is take all of your mixture here, and you're going to pour it into a pan. Without making a mess. And I didn't. Yay! <laughs> Alright, and then you're going to add three cups of water to that. And you're going to turn your heat on. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get this all stirred together. Let me see if I can bring you up high enough to see it. Nope, probably not. But anyway, you're going to get it all stirred together. Hold on. Alright, there we go. So you're going to get all this mixed together. You want to just make sure all the clumps are out of it. Everything is mixed together good. And you're going to let this boil for 15 minutes. So once you get it all stirred up, you can stop using your whisk and use a spoon and let it cook for 15 minutes. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at that. And it will get thicker as it cooks. Look at that. All right, I'll bring you back when the 15 minutes is up. There, we're about six, seven minutes into cooking it. Make sure you keep it stirred because it can boil over. That's why it's in such a big pan. And you're going to need hot jars. So I have my stove heating up to 200 with my jars inside. So it can be hot, hot, and hot. There it is at 200 degrees. So make sure during that 15 minutes you keep stirring and stirring. You don't want anything burning or flowing over. I'll be back. Okay, so now it's cooked the 15 minutes. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of vanilla. And I'm going to let that cook for like a minute and get that vanilla all incorporated into that chocolate before I start canning it up. So I'm going to get that incorporated in and then I'll be right back and we'll start canning it up. Alright, so we're ready. So Jack's over here to help me with the hot, hot, and hot. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful syrup? get as much off that as I can before I sit it down. <laughs> All right, so now I've had my jars in the in the oven heating up to 200 because you obviously want your jars to be hot as well. We'll do three at a time. All righty. So now we're going to fill it with the nice hot, <laughs> hot syrup. 
I ordered new things from my stove, Jack. Oh, you did? Yep, I couldn't get it clean. Oh, wow. So we're going to go up to the inch head space on this, too. All right, I'm going to kind of move this over here. Hot. Hot. <laughs> Look at that. Now these, of course, will be Christmas presents. Except for three of them. <laughs> I think Jack got them last year. Or did we make a double batch last year? We might have. Or maybe we just made a separate batch for you. Alrighty. So there's the first three. So we're going to do just like we would do with anything else. We're going to wash those rims. And even if you think you didn't get anything on them, don't take that chance. Because look at that. You think you didn't get nothing on them. And you did. Look at that. See, not very much, but that's enough to hold it from not sealing. So then we're going to put our four jar lids on there. Alrighty. This is the fun part. I'm trying to get those rings on there straight. There's one for you, Jack. Two and three. And then you can turn this back on here. We did it in this order because it needs to be hot, hot, and hot. The other was cold, cold, and cold. So that way the canner's nice and hot, ready for these jars. So I'm gonna get the rest of them put in there. And I'm gonna um, get the back to a rolling boil. Now with this one, it takes 15 minutes. So once it gets to that rolling, can't stop boil, then set your timer for 15 minutes. I'll be back when those are done. So there is our chocolate syrup. Ooh, another one just popped. They're all popping away. Isn't that beautiful? So give it a try. You can make your own personal chocolate syrup. You guys have a blessed day. Be a blessing.